Digikey, and Adafruit bring you This week's Ion NPI is from Allegro. Lady Ada, what is this week's new product introduction? Okay, that's just cool. I like it when there's new companies. I don't think we've done the Allegro uh, chip yet, uh, but I like Allegro, an American company, I think. And uh, they've got a cool logo. Their old logo I thought was also really cool, but this one, it got, I like the die, you know, the, the die chipped and they got the rainbow thing still going on. That's cool. Um, so Allegro is known for doing magnetic sensors. And they also um, have some motor controllers and stuff. They do robotics and current sensing. They're very specialized. Um, and they haven't been purchased by Maxim, I think. So this is a great time to take a look at their new sensor, the ACS 37002. So I'm just going to call it the ACS 37 because it's a, it's a long number. And this is a new generation of uh, isolated current sensor. This is current sensor is actually taking good advice from the medical community and staying isolated from others, like their circuits. So this is an isolated current sensor. So how do we normally measure current? Well, this is like an old project I did. And a common way to measure current is you have a very small resistor and it's either on the low side, it's between the device you're measuring the load of or the, the draw of and ground. And then you have an op amp, you see here in the center an op amp. Um, and it has like a high gain, maybe like a hundred or a thousand. And then um, after you amplify that, you measure the voltage and then you kind of divide by the gain and it tells you, um, and the resistor, and it tells you the current. Okay, well you can also, uh, you know, do high side. Low side is kind of annoying because your ground kind of ends up, you have two grounds, you have the real ground and then the fake ground. So there's also high side sensing, and it's kind of like this but the other way, the resistor is on the top of the power supply. Um, but this also has some issues. One, the voltage that you're measuring on the power might be much higher than the voltage of your op amp or your circuit. Like you might be measuring a 12 volt battery or a solar panel, um, but your circuit is running at three or five volts. So you can get a custom chip and some of these have, you know, they do the gain and, and they can have high uh, voltages and so you can do higher low side sensing. But either way, your measuring circuit is referenced against what you're uh, measuring the load of. It's a part of the same circuit. The ground is the ground on both sides, um, whether it's high or low side sensing. And there are a lot of situations where you want total isolation. You don't want any connection at all between what you're measuring and uh, the measurement circuit. This could be because you have high voltages, you have AC, you have, um, you know, there's, you, you want to reduce noise that may couple across the two circuits. A lot of reasons why you want to have isolated current measurement. So. This, uh, this series of sensors from Allegra, what they use is instead of having a resistor where the current goes across the resistor and you measure the voltage differential, it actually measures the uh, magnetic field generated from current passing through a conductor. Now you may remember this from your e &M class, you know, as, as current passes through, right hand rule, you have a magnetic field that is generated. And uh, in this case, you just see here a Hall effect sensor demonstrating that it can measure the output. And with careful calibration, you can take that magnetic flux and back correlate it to how much current. You have to do a lot of calibration. You have to make sure that your Hall effect sensor is the same every time and that the resistor is very precise. But it is possible to get very good quality current sensing. So um, you may be familiar with an earlier Allegro chip, the ACS712. This was a very popular chip. Um, this could measure under 50 amps. Um, it had about 4% error. It uh, had high bandwidth. And um, it basically you'd have, um, on one side you have, you can see the thick traces are the uh, two traces that are in line with your circuit. Now it does have to be in series with the circuit. But you can see it's on one half of the chip and it can be high side, low side, middle, it can be anywhere you want because again, it's completely isolated electrically. And the output is a voltage and the voltage, uh, you know, is either zero is the middle and it goes above and below or it's ratio metric, or it could be from zero to above if it's only positive voltages. Either way, this is the old generation. And um, so if you're familiar with that chip, this is the next generation. So this is a really cool image you can see here um, there's the Hall effect sensor in the center and you see how 
there's like four pins for each connection, so you have like a lot of current pass through. And the, there's a, basically a resistance, it's very low. I think it's like 0.4, uh, ohm, uh, sorry, 0.4 milli ohms. Uh, so it shouldn't affect your uh, current uh, draw or your voltage across the chip as much. And then there's an electrical isolation using a plastic layer um, between the Hall effect sensor and um, the magnetic plate. It's uh, sorry, the, um, the plate that it's measuring the electrical current coming through. Um, what's nice about the chip is it's a much higher quality chip than the ACS 712. Um, the uh, inline resistor is much lower. I actually wrote that down, so hold on. So uh, one thing is you can uh, measure much higher currents, so it can go up to 66 amps, which is kind of nice. Um, the resistor is much lower, I think it's about one half. The linearity is a lot better, it's about twice as good. There's you know, a lot of things that are improved with the circuit. Uh, so this is the next generation, so if you've been looking at the ACS712, I recommend looking at this chip as an upgrade. Um, another nice thing is there's a gain selection. So there's all these extra pins, so they added gain selection. So there's, um, you can see here on the top right, uh, you can set the gain uh, by, there's two pins, and from 0, 0 to 1, 1. You can have different gains from 30 millivolts per amp up to 60 millivolts per amp. So you can tune it to get uh, you know, the best performance because you want to have your uh, current range be very close to, but slightly larger than what you're actually expecting to measure. There's also uh, interrupt pins and, and some other uh, good stuff. This chip does come in a wide variety. Uh, one thing I noticed is that there's kind of like a high, there's like a low noise version, and then there's also like a high range version. So you wanna take a look. It's like if you want um, different ranges and different sensitivities, Nothing unlike the ACS 712. This comes in a nominal 3.3 volt uh, voltage for um, analog to digital converters, which is really nice because most chips these days are 3.3 volt. If you do, though, you have to pick the 3.3 volt version. So there's like a 5 volt and a 3 volt. Just make sure you pick the right one. You can look at the selection guide here shown from the data sheet. You know, basically decide is it going to be you know bidirectional current? Great. There's a couple that do bidirectional. Um, what is your logic level voltage? And then do you want uh, higher precision, lower noise? And then you can kind of uh, pare down to figure out the exact model you want to get. Um, but you can pick these up at Digikey. They're in stock now. And I even picked right. up some myself. So I thought I'd show on the overhead and then we could watch a video that's, again, it's for the older ACS yeah. 712, but the same kind of concept. And it's a nice video from the Lego. I normally read the product ID number, but this one's it's super so long. long, but it's digikey.com slash short slash ZRB8P4, um, but you can also just search for it. And let's check it out on the overhead, and yeah. then we'll play, um, we have a little video from them. Yes, so let me lock on. Okay, so this is how the chip comes. So it comes in at kind of a standard wide SOIC, and it's, of course, going to be hard to peel it off. Um, so this is the chip. And then, you know, one half, I think it's on this side. Four pins are the, you know, the one side of your connector, four pins are the other side. Of it. I know, it's so, it's so small. There you go. That's cool. Um, yeah, one on the, no, no, I think no, that's no, on the no. right side. Ooh. And then, um, yeah. sorry, yeah, four, four lower pins connect to one end, four other pins go to the other end, so that's in, in uh, series. And then you've got power ground, uh, two gain selects, and the interrupt oh, output. No it's just too close. Yeah. Let's see the yeah. Yeah, nice. So it's nice and big um, and uh, easy to use. You can even prototype with it. And uh, very high current range. And uh, again, you can use it. I think the isolation is like 4.8 kilovolts or something. Um, and it's great for AC or DC. I want to mention, mention that. Um, it can do up to 40, 400, kilo, 400 hertz AC. Which is one of the things that like a current transformer won't do as nicely for you. So I think um, solar panels use high uh, voltage and high frequency AC. It's one of the purposes of this is to help measure uh, solar panel output. So. All right, and let's uh, listen from the source. Got a little bit of a video. Current flows in and out of the package. It travels in the package through a three-quarter loop inside the package and then back out again. This current flow generates a magnetic field around the loop that is proportional to the magnitude of the current flowing in the conductor. The resistance of these Allegro sensor ICs 
is only about one milliohm, and therefore the power loss is extremely low, making them highly efficient in sensing currents as high as 50 amps continuous current. An Allegro Hall effect sensor IC is integrated into the package, and it senses the magnetic field generated by the current flowing in the conductor. The Hall transducer converts the magnetic field into a voltage. Flip chip technology allows the Hall transducer to be placed over the portion of the loop where the magnetic field is strongest. The flip chip technology also allows for the connection of the signal leads of the IC to the package leads on the other side of the package. This also provides the high isolation of these surface mount current sensor IC packages. While the Hall sensor IC is in close proximity to the current loop, there is an insulating layer of plastic between the two, as can be seen in this cross section. This insulating layer provides high voltage isolation and allows Allegro current sensor ICs to be used in AC line tied applications. And once again, don't forget you can get that on digikey.com, and that is. Hi, I'm MPI.